I'm excited. It's going to be some hard hitting out there. This is anybody's ball game. Game on. The chief challenge tonight is a motorhome demolition derby and all the chiefs from the Orange County area have donated their time to drive these motorhomes to raise funds for various charities. We, over the years, have raised over $125,000 for various charities with Sunnyside Promotions, Southside Towing, Ben's Asphalt, and the cooperation of all the chiefs in the Orange County area. They've been really great. See this thing hold together. It's you and me, baby. I'm excited. This is uh, my first year, so we'll see how this goes. But uh, it's all for a great cause, for charity. We've got great, great fans out there ready to see us uh, smash it up. And uh, you know, we've got a great community here in Costa Mesa. So I'm, I'm happy to be out there with our fire chief and uh, raising funds for a great cause. This year, the charities are the Padre Foundation, which is near and dear to my heart. My daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes earlier this year. Also, incredible group at Chalk that just does miraculous work, and we are all tied into what Chalk does. California Fire Foundation, who serves firefighters throughout the state of California, particularly our fallen firefighters. And I think we've raised over $20,000 go to charity. It's a fun event, it's a community event, but we're able to give something back. We're going to look around at some of the motorhomes and see what they look like. These motorhomes that we get here, they're pretty much junk when we get them. Southside Towing has to go completely through them and clean the carburetors, uh, replace the fuel tank, and gut the inside, take a lot of the stuff out of the insides of it so that it's not as much debris. I mean, there's enough debris as it is, but a lot of these things, they're absolutely magically reincarnated when they're being left at the street or somewhere in park, somewhere, they get towed off and here they're revitalized, raising money for charity. You got your makeshift gas tank I see in there. You like that? Uh. As you can see here, we have wire mesh in both the windshield and the driver's side. That's to keep all debris out and away from the driver. On the inside, you have a battery that is covered and a fuel cell, which is also covered with wire mesh. A lot of the back of the motorhomes will become completely off of the motorhome, and that's when that guy is out of the derby, when they're no longer a back on the motorhome. Two years off since we've had Motorhome Madness, and so we're back. This is Police Chief Ron Lawrence's first shot, and he's ready. He actually is the odds favorite this year. Coming in new, John Lewis, another favorite who's done it for many years. And then you have Stu Greenberg, who's coming back. The last time we had this in 2019, he won. But Chief Lawrence really is gonna bring a lot to the game today. He hasn't said a lot, but he's taken a lot in. And he's a calm demeanor. He said he was pumped up. So it's going to be a fun event and we're going to have a great time. I also have Fire Chief Adam Lozier out of Fullerton, Fire Chief Jeff Boyles out of Newport Beach, three fire chiefs, three police chiefs, game on. If, if for some reason you need some attention or you want to get out, wave the flag. We've got three people and I'll be up in the stands. We'll stop it. Feeling pumped. I'm excited. Told you, he's pumped. He's pumped. I'm fired up but he is pumped. I've never seen him this pumped, I'm pumped. quite honestly. We're highly trained in uh, high-speed pursuit driving and backing and uh, driving police motor vehicles, and, and so I think that might be a little bit of an advantage, but I think this is anybody's ball game. Do you want to hit the back of the motorhome? In regular demolition derby, you want to hit the front of the car to take out the radiator and the, and the engine, but this, you want to take the back of the motorhome off because that's when the driver is out of that derby. Start slow, line up your hits, and make sure that you're lined up and hit the back of the motorhome. Be as aggressive as possible, 
backing up as fast as you can, watching where you're going, and slamming the opponents as hard as you possibly can, and ultimately, to be the last one standing. You know, all these years of my career, having a crime scene, a traffic collision, and the fire engine comes and just runs over all of our evidence, tonight's payback. And, and, and make no mistake about it. I mean, the, we have so much in common, and most importantly, we've always both wanted to be firefighters. So <laughs> it's good that we're there. Well, he has to have somebody to look up to, so that's why I had to be here tonight. <laughs> good luck, Chief. Good luck, Chief. Go Costa right. Mesa. <laughs> Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa. It was a lot of great fun. It was uh, kind of a big blur. You just saw red and black vehicles flying around. I had some good hits uh, for a while there, some good long runs, and then all of a sudden my engine cut out and it would not restart. So I was stuck there, kind of like a sitting duck for a while. <laughs> I took some good hits, but I couldn't get the engine started and I was just out. I had the same thing, a couple great hits to start it off. My vehicle was on fire from the start of the, uh, uh, of the event, so we I just tried to keep that undercover, make it through. Uh, apparently I won the best of show, so I'm excited about that one. We'll take it. It was, uh, as John Lewis would say, tonight at least. It was all show and no go. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't finish it all the way to the end, but we're coming back next year. And you watch Shake and Bake next year. We're bringing it. That's right. We're bringing it next year. But a great charity event and a great opportunity with the community. Spent some time with the community and uh, our brothers in uh, police and fire. Just a great event all around.